This is again remember about the farmers' protest, but a lot of people who hold no say wanting to speak about this. This is UK's Labour Party MP Claudia Webb, who earlier had tweeted on Disha Ravi's arrest, targeting the Indian government about it. To this now, the Indian High Commission has given a detailed response in the farmers' protest. The letter to the states, in fact, it goes on to say that the government of India is aware of vested international forces working against India and their attempt to disrupt the dialogue with the farmers and also fuel protest. Giving a fact check to the Labour MP, the Indian High Commission says that the farm laws have been introduced to empower the farmers of India and the act was duly debated in the parliament before they were even passed as laws. So as always, you're looking at meddling by a lot of forces that hold no say in India's day-to-day -day affairs, and rightly so. One by one, you're looking at rebuttal now that has come in. This is the UK's Labour Party MP, Claudia, who had earlier tweeted on Disha's arrest, and she targeted the government over that arrest. But the Indian High Commission now has given a point-by-point -point rebuttal to that, the details of which are already up on your screens. The High Commission now is making it very, very clear that there are vested international forces right now working against the interest of India. And it goes on to say that laws have been introduced to empower the farmers and the Act has been duly debated in the Parliament before they were passed as laws. So one more attempt there to meddle into India's internal affairs there being thwarted by India. Active vested interest forces working against India. This is the exact word that has been used in that letter that we just showed you. It also goes on to say unequivocally that this is an attempt to fuel the protest and this is an attempt to disrupt dialogue that is unwarranted and will not be accepted.